There was a bit of news coming out of the EU LCS just earlier today, and that is surrounding H2K. Apparently, they've signed Selfie, who was obviously let go from the Cloud9 Academy team in the offseason, didn't really have a chance to find a team, but it looks like he's going to be signing with H2K, and there's even a rumor that he's going to come in for Kadrill in that mid lane, and Kadrill is going to play jungle! Santorin's out! <laughs> That is pretty crazy. You know, oh, Centaurin yeah. is a guy who, you know what, I've really loved watching his career and I'm a big fan of his, but so far this split, the performance hasn't been there. It just simply has not been up to the level that you need to be having on the LCS stage in order to give your team a chance. And especially at the jungle position where you're able to impact so many of these lanes early that it really is crucial. And Santorin just hasn't been bringing it for H2K. Now, talking about Selfie coming into the mid lane, that has me excited. This is a guy that we were talking about that he didn't get his chance with C9. And you know, there were some certain situations and circumstances there that led to it on both sides. But this is a guy who I think has a lot of talent and really can prove himself. And I hope this is an opportunity for him. Yeah, and I mean, I understand doing some changes for H2K because, yeah, they look terrible. I thought they'd be a lot better, maybe contending for that final playoff spot, but uh, they look rough. But a role swap, that's that's probably not going to solve many issues. Role swap is definitely risky for sure. Yeah, even if Santorin has been struggling, I don't know if a role swap's the answer. Again, that's just a rumor that may not actually be true, but it does sound like Selfie will at least be starting in that mid lane yeah, this weekend. Some interesting things going on, and you can definitely see that as a change with H2K. This is one of those teams that eventually, when franchising comes into the EU LCS next year, would certainly be up towards the top of the list of, as far as the teams that you would want to be franchised. And this is another example of them showing that, you know what, we are not going to be complacent. We do make moves in order to become a better team and try some things. So I do like this as a sign of, you know, kind of showing again to Riot, not that they really needed to, but hey, we're an invested partner into this and we're invested in our team and, our, and how our results come out. And uh, when you lose to UOL, apparently, it just means your entire team. You need out. to make some changes. You need to make some changes. <laughs> make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.